Good evening. Welcome to the channel. Glad to have you. If not subscribed, share, like. Tell your friends about these videos. Share them with a bunch of your friends. We're glad to have anybody to come join us. We're just sitting here waiting on Jesus to come back. And of all the news coming in, it is amazing the things that's happening right now. It won't be long. Freddie. Hurricane, typhoon, whatever you want to call it, has now set a new world record at 34 days being a named storm. It went from one side of the world to the other. All this happened and it finally landed in Indonesia. Today, one of the biggest volcanoes in Indonesia, I do believe it's Indonesia, has erupted like Mount San Helen. It's bad. That all happened today. <laughs> China, it's raining worms. It goes on and on, people. These are the signs that we was waiting for. These are the signs he told us to watch for. No need to fear them. As I tell everybody to keep your eyes on Israel, especially right now. It could be any second that Israel will do their thing when it comes to Iran. It's only a matter of time. It could happen tonight. It could happen tomorrow. But I'm telling you, it won't be long. What I'm waiting for is for Pandora's box to be open. I know when the first one goes off, that will pretty much be it. People say, no, 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 they don't want to destruct themselves. Well, here is the biggest lie told to you. They have massive bunkers everywhere. They will be fine. They don't care about you. They care about themselves. They've already prepared. This was already prepared. If you're sitting and watching what's going on in Europe, you can watch and see that this is pre-planned. This is the Antichrist. It don't matter what you think or what you know. He has to get rid of some people that's going to cause him problems. That is you, the American citizens. You have an arsenal in your house. This is not a good, easy place to just come in and control people. So he's got to get rid of you first. That's why Jesus is coming back. I'm not saying this to scare you because I tell you not to fear anything. But I'm telling you what the plan is and what they're going to do before they do it. You have to be ready. That's why I tell you to have your family and you ready to go when Jesus makes the phone call and pulls us out of here. I know what they're doing. I'm looking for the signs. God's making these signs everywhere. Right now, record flooding in California is like nothing anybody's ever seen. It's just, it's horrendous. And they're about to get a ton more water. From a, a state that went completely bone dry to now they can't keep all the water because it's coming from every which direction. All these are signs. The flooding, the hurricanes, the volcanoes erupting, the earthquakes. People, these are birth pains. It was like, oh, Chris, this has been happening. This is the Christian's way of thinking. It's been happening forever. Not like this. And there's never been a war that's going to be like World War III. Don't be like these people. Because I'm telling you, you know what they're going to do when all this happens? They're going to scream to the top of their lungs. They're going to riot. They're going to hit the stores. They're going to steal. And that's what's going to happen. Because they're not prepared. And they won't prepare all the way up until the end. They won't. We don't have to prepare because we're leaving. But I'm telling you, their mentality is that if they keep their head in the sand long enough, nothing's going to happen. They don't realize it's already done. So, you that come here, you're here at this channel, you know this, because I've told you. It's already been set. It's already in stone. It's already happening. <laughs> there is no going back. There's no peace going to come from it. The Antichrist is here. He's making his move. Other Christian channels are not going to tell you this because they're scared of hurting their little reputation. I don't care about mine. I'm not in here to make money. So, it's either tell you the truth or lie to you or get on here and try to increase my finances. Best way I can describe it. And that's what most of them are on here to do. Do not be fooled by that. That's why you see the exotic 
all the time their titles. The world's coming to an end today. It's today. It's a bar. It's today. It's today. And they do that because you're going to click on it. And they get paid every click that you click. I tell you because I have nothing to hide from you. Because you're my family. My brothers and sisters. And I care more about your well-being than money. Never been much on money. Never really had it. I've always got by, but the only thing important now is getting home. So I'm not going to lead you astray. You're going to ask me, Chris, are you sure the Antichrist is here? I'm going to tell you 100% that he is. I've caught it twice, once from John Kerry, calling him him. And Prince Charles saying it also, him. They're going to raise $7 trillion for him. Not a country, not NATO, not the World Economic Forum, for him. Who is him? Him is the Antichrist. He is here. So what does that mean? That means your time here is up. As the Lord told us last week, time is up. He's coming. You have to be ready. You can believe us or not. That's not my job to force you. I know you've been told this by a bunch of quack jobs over the years. But I'm here. To, I'm not here to panic you. I tell you not to fear anything. I'm here to just tell you to do your thing, go to work, plant your garden, but keep your eyes upon the Lord. That's not panicking you. I'm just letting you know what's going on, what's going on behind the scenes, the birth pains, where they're coming from, everything that's happening. So I'm basically your newscast to let you know Jesus is coming. And that's our job to let everybody else know. No, most of them's not going to believe us. They're not going to care. They're not going to hear it because they don't want Jesus to come. Because why don't they want Jesus to come? Because he brings judgment. And that's the one thing they want to be able to see and do their little thing and get away with it and keep getting away with it. And it's coming to an end. They won't be able to hide from him. They can hide from the law. They can hide from everybody else. But they can't hide from him. And they know it. So as Jesus said, judgment comes like a tidal wave. And it's coming for everyone. So be ready. I tell you to get on the ark. Read your Bible as much as you can, especially in these last days. It's very important. And like I said, do your thing. Plant your gardens. Go to work. Be happy. We're leaving. That don't mean stop living. I've told people that many times. Do what you do normally. I was out there just a minute ago cutting trees. So do what you normally do. But just don't fear anything. Don't fear the banks collapsing, which they will. All this stuff will come to pass. These are all part of it. It's just proof that what I'm telling you is true and what the other people do not want you to know. So keep your eyes on the Lord. You're going to do great. You're almost out of here. So don't fear. All the signs are there, people. We're about to get on that train to heaven where you will be at peace with your families. No more sickness, no more death. My job is to keep you calm in a storm, and that's what I'm here to do. Tell you the storm's coming, but don't fear it. Be calm. Help those who need it in the storm, because they will panic. And that will be your chance. That's why I'm here. Make sure you're calm when everything is falling apart around the world. And they don't know what's happening. You're not going to do that. You're going to smile when the stars are falling. And you're going to say, oh, it's time. Jesus is coming. You better be ready. And you're going to do great. I know because God brought you here. If you don't see or hear from me again, I'll see you in heaven.